Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today for our eggshell versus sand update. Open the lid, there was no condensation. Everything looked good. It's a little bit, I would say a little bit dry in here. Not ultra dry, but not really as moist as I think it should be. This, I'm trying to remember what this was. I'm guessing this is some um, bell pepper remnants because there's lots of seeds. But our feeding was right here, if you remember. That's why I've been marking it with the toilet paper roll. So I wanted to see if they had gotten into that. If I can get it open. Some mold. But there's also a good number of worms. They haven't really worked their way into this as much as I would have expected. But they are in the bedding around it, so I'm just going to bury this back up. And I still think we'll give a small feeding today, just make sure we're careful about it. Let's take a look in the uh, eggshell bin. Alright, here's the eggshell bin. Again, no climbers on the lid, just one lone guy climbing up here. I don't want to get him. There we go. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little tour. I'm thinking these sprouts were from the tomatoes, not the bell peppers that we put in. I, I couldn't remember uh, when I was in the other bin, but I think that's what they're from. So just turning them over, they'll become more food for the worms. And here's where we fed the bell pepper. And Again, there's worm activity, but they haven't completely moved into it. Um, I attribute that to the fact that I only punctured a small hole. But um, they are, again, all around this piece of bedding that I put in with the bell pepper. So I think that's, that's looking good. So, bury this back up. Same deal like the other bin, and we will do... As I said, a very small feeding today because again, we have to keep in mind that we have a very small number of worms in here to start with. Uh, we started with 50 and um, I'm sure they're starting to lay cocoons. We haven't spotted any just yet, but um, we'll have to keep a close eye on that. All right guys, so this is the sand bin. I actually gave it uh, a few days in between filming. Something came up, so it just worked out well. So I'm just going to take a quick peek. This was where our feeding was. And it does look like they've pretty much gone through it. So that's very encouraging. Really not much left at all but some bedding. So what I'm going to do is spread this out a little bit. We're going to try to expand into this bin a bit more. Good news is the worms still look good and since I gave them a few days we can give them a nice feeding. So I don't know, let's feed over here. I'm going to clear out a space and I have some bedding here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to measure about half of this container full of bedding. Just shredded newspaper, cardboard, those types of things. It's about as scientific as I get, guys. All right, so threw that down there. And then I have some um, spinach that had gone bad. So I just measured this out by weight. 
Ooh, it looks like there's a fruit fly as well. All right, so that's that. And then I have our sand. I'm gonna healthily sprinkle this and bury it up with our existing bedding. I'm still gonna leave a little bit that they can travel away if they want, but we still haven't really worked into this that corner just yet. We're just gonna work slowly since we have kind of a limited number of worms. Um, this way they can do their thing. So I'm gonna warn you now, please turn down the volume because I'm gonna show you a quick clip of how I blend up my eggshells with my spice grinder. I'll wait. All right, I use a spice grinder to grind up my eggshells, so here it goes. All right guys, so as you saw, um, I use a spice grinder and eggshells are really not healthy to um, breathe in the fumes from it, so when I'm um, blending up big batches like that, I always wear a mask. Um, you could tie a bandana around your face, whatever you want, but uh, you definitely don't want to aggravate your um, throat and your, your lungs. So I always think it's a good idea just to be safe. These guys look like they've finished up their feeding as well. So we'll do the same thing, kind of mix all of this up. Worms are still looking good. And I have this been flipped around a little bit, but we'll do it, the feeding over here in this bin. So I did the same thing over here, bedding. I have our lovely rotten spinach. And, shoot, I didn't open up my eggshell container. One second. All right, this is... I don't know, about halfway through this um, protein powder container I have that that bag was able to give me. And I realized that scoop is not the same size as my other scoop, so I grab the right scoop. We might go down to half scoop soon because this is a lot of eggshell. But for sake of making it even, we'll do this, and then next week we'll, uh, whew, fumes again, don't breathe them in. We will maybe go to a half scoop or even a quarter scoop, or I can find a smaller scoop, I don't know. But I'm just gonna do the same thing here. And pull the bedding mostly up here, since the worms are still primarily hanging out in this area. But, I don't know, worms are looking healthy. I am pretty pleased. Can't complain. So next week, maybe we'll take a peek, see if we can find any cocoons in either one of these bins. Um, but I did want to bring you this full update. So another week in the books, we are going to soon start to pay attention to if we're seeing cocoons, baby worms, and uh, try to see if the uh, eggshell does in fact play a role in quicker reproduction of our worms. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.